So we're in Akala in Nunavut, and this place is amazing, way up here in the Arctic. And the Olympic torch relay is coming right through this community because it's day 11. So let's go check out the flame and talk to some locals. Throat singing is part of our culture, and a long time ago, women gather in the igloos and they start to compete with each other. We're pretty excited for the torch to come into town. It's a lifetime opportunity for me. Having the flame come to the north is, is very exciting. And I think all Canadians and everyone around the world almost should owes it to themselves, especially Canadians, to come to Iqaluit and to Nunavut. We're doing a little sightseeing here in Iqaluit. We are, we're gonna play some outdoor hockey. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. To the Olympic Flames! The best times to come to Iqaluit is during our annual Tunic Time Festival in April. You'll see all sorts of different things and get a good glimpse into the Inuit traditional way of life. Hi, I'm Gary L. I unveiled Inuna, a Coca Cola bottle that uh, I made, and the reaction from the crowd was just awesome. I've been living in Iqaluit for 12 years, and this is a great honor for me. My nephew's holding a torch. It was very emotional. <laughs> and right behind me comes the flame, and there's 20 torch bearers at once, all running with one single flame, and then they're going to share it with the rest of Iqaluit. And I just ran into Santa Claus here in Iqaluit, and we're excited for the flame to come through town. Good to have you here, Chris. Good to see ya. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> hoo, hoo, hoo. 